Hello everyone. This is part 6 of Hebrews 2:14. Since we, the children, are all creatures of flesh and blood, Jesus took on flesh and blood, so that by dying he could destroy the one who held power over death, the devil. This is part 6 of a series that we're doing talking about the devil. The first part we talked about the devil's origin during creation, what he was doing at that time. Part two, we talked about his history and his prophetic future, what's going to happen to him. Part three, we talk about his appearance, and we talk about what are some of the signs of angels that we see today. Part four, the many names, the roles of Satan. Part five, how he is seen as angel light. And this part, part six, we're going to talk about the sincere followers of Satan, those who want to absolutely be evil and follow in his ways. They want to, they believe in God and they just want to go completely against God and follow Satan. That's what we're talking about today. But we begin each one of these with the verse of the day, Hebrews 2.14, so that we remember that in the end, Satan loses and Christ wins. Satan dies and death dies. And Christ wins. Now, there are absolutely people who want to follow Satan. And they will talk in an intellectual way. They will say, we just want to propel to a higher calling, a higher being. We want mankind to, excel, to, to succeed and reach a higher calling. Why should we worship God when we ourselves can become God? And they talk very intellectually and sometimes it will trip people up. I want you to watch this video, Megyn Kelly interviewing a satanic worshiper. Watch this. Well, a group of Satanists is tonight claiming victory after a court told the state of Oklahoma to remove a monument to the Ten Commandments from the state capitol. Before the ruling, the Satanists wanted to install their own tribute, a pagan idol showing a bearded goat, something like this, on the Capitol grounds, right next to the Ten Commandments. Joining us now, Randy Brogdon, who's a former Oklahoma state senator who authored the bill to install the Ten Commandments monument. Also, Lucian Graves, spokesman for the Satanic Temple. We will begin with Lucian. All right, Lucian. So is it like Lucian as in Lucifer? Is that, where, is that why you're called that? Sure, as you like. As much as, as you like. I don't like. Is that your birth name? No, it's not. Okay. So, what is it that first drew you to the Satanic Temple? Well, I, I helped co found the Satanic Temple. Why? Uh, why? Because it, it is an embodiment of my deeply held beliefs, and I think there's a s distinct need for a counterbalance against. Uh, the dominant religious privilege in America today. What are the deeply held beliefs that drew you to the Satanic Temple? Well, we have seven tenets. You can look them up online. But in, uh, essentially, we view uh, Satan as a symbolic embodiment of the ultimate uh, rebel against tyranny. OK. So now you're, you're happy because you got the Ten Commandments taken down. But do you, are you still pushing to have the goat with the horns and so on put up on the state capitol grounds? No, we, we don't want our monument there without the Ten Commandments there. Um, the point uh, all along was that it would complement and contrast the Ten Commandments and reaffirm that we live in a pluralistic nation that respects uh, diversity and religious liberty. But the thing with the, you know, the, the horns and so on, the, the Ten Commandments goes up because not only does it have some religious meaning, but it has historical meaning too. I mean, would you acknowledge that about the Ten Commandments? Well, I would, uh, well, yes, if you would acknowledge that. Baphomet has historical uh, meaning as the well. Baphomet it is the goat back, with the, uh, yeah. The image it. at least goes back to the 19th century. It's at least as old as Mormonism in any case. Okay, so let's say it does, but do you acknowledge that about the Ten Commandments? So there's nothing, you have no problem with the Ten Commandments standing there uh, next to your devil figure, right? That's correct. So long as uh, multiple points of view are allowed, um, there's nothing wrong with a religious monument being up. But uh, that really wasn't the argument that Oklahoma was making. They were saying that it wasn't a religious monument and that it, uh, the Ten Commandments monument served a secular purpose. 
which is outright false. Well, they the U.S. Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court found that. I mean, the U.S. Supreme Court has already ruled that the Ten Commandments, that the displays not only have a religious significance, but also a historical one. Well, you're talking a different type of issue because in Oklahoma, they were ruling by the state constitution, not the federal constitution. I know, so it's but an entirely it's, different issue. If you're talking it's Texas, different. it's a moot point. It's not that different, but you're right. No, it's Texas, entirely different. In, in we're talking different constitutions. I, I've looked at we're them both. We're state constitution versus federal constitution. I, I know. So I looked at them both. And then I, I practiced law for like a decade, too, so I, I, I did read them and see... A lot of similar words. Lucian, thank you. Good luck to you. And, 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 I, taught you, and I taught you that there was a separation between the, uh, that there was a difference between the federal constitution and the state constitution. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. Good to see you. Joining me now with more. So that was interesting. <laughs> he felt a lifelong calling to join with Satan. And there are seven tenants, which I will not be Googling. Uh now, as you can see, that man was more intellectual than what megan kelly thought she was going to run into he even was correcting her on some of her her law school stuff some of her legal matters that she went to law school for but in the end they have evil intentions as john eight forty four says you are of your father the devil and your will is to do your father's desires he was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him when he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. There are people whose father is the devil. They want to just sincerely worship them, him with all their heart. There are people that are witches, not ones that are, are doing witchcraft, trying to do white magic, thinking they're following Jesus. But When I mention white magic, all magic is bad. White magic is bad. However, some are fooled into believing. Some in this new age movement are fooled into believing that what they are doing is actually following God. They are not. They're doing things of the Hindu religion. They are doing white magic, which is against God. As I showed in verse of the day 164, the one previous to this, that there was a woman who thought she was doing good magic all magic is against god when we do supernatural miracles as christians we are not doing magic we are simply letting the lord use us and breathe through us but we are not doing magic we are doing the works that he has prepared for us beforehand so all magic is bad white magic is bad what i'm trying to say is that some people are fooled into thinking that they are doing good things for God and for humanity through white magic, but it is bad. I wanted to clarify that. They want to just sincerely worship them, him with all their heart. There are people that are witches, not ones that are, are doing witchcraft, trying to do white magic, thinking they're following Jesus, but people who absolutely want to follow Satan. They get power from them. They want to rule the underworld. They want to be kings in hell, but they believe that they will be. Satan has lied to them. Satan believes he can beat God. And you'll see in a lot of the media and things that Satan always reversed the roles of what is good and what is evil. Even in the Lego movie. In the Lego movie, the, the person the, who made all the Legos made them a certain way. But Satan wanted to corrupt the way. <laughs> the, bad guy, the, the people that were supposedly the heroes wanted to corrupt the way that the... the mastermind of all the legos has built it finn we're gonna play a little game it's called let's put everything back the way you found it dad you don't understand so i can make things the way they're supposed to be permanently more craggles this rebellion ends right now Meow. Hold on, Jeff, we're coming for you! Oh! Stop! Oh, no! There'll be too many micromanagers! 
What am I holding here? It's a battleship. No, it's a hodgepodge. That's what it is. What's Batman doing? A robot pirate? Ah! Dang it. Ah! Ah! Stop, stop it. No, stop it. Got glue all over that construction worker. Here, give that to me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. All my friends, no, stop it. Ye were a hearty crew, but it be, it be over. No! The piece of resistance. I can still save them. Let's get this gunk off this construction worker. Not just a construction worker, Dad. He's the hero. Nope, he's not. He is a ordinary, regular, generic construction worker, and I need to put him back where he belongs. The person who made all the Legos made them a certain way, but say didn't want to corrupt the way. <laughs> the bad guy, the, the people that were supposedly the heroes wanted to corrupt the way that the, the mastermind of all the Legos has built them. They want to switch parts out. They say, if you want to say you're an apple, you're an apple. If you want to say you're a tree, you're a tree. You can love is love is love is love. <laughs> you can you can you can mix and match anything. Just do what you want. As and that's one of Satan's Satan's sayings: "Do as thou wilt." But in the end, he wants to destroy, to kill, steal, and destroy. All humanity. He wants to destroy God's creation, and he says, "Do as that will." But once he, if he was to reign, his will would be to destroy every one of us and put, torture every one of us. Revelations twenty-seven through eight talks about a time after Satan has been bound for a thousand years, after Christ comes down, after a thousand years. He releases Satan for just a little while. And there will be multitudes of people, as many as grains of sand, that come and try and take down Christ. And that is when the final judgment thing will be done. Revelations 27 8. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. As the sand of the sea. Not the sand of a beach, but the sand of the sea. And it will be huge. But we are to remember, since we, the children, are all creatures of flesh and blood, Jesus took on flesh and blood so that by dying he could destroy the one who held power over death. The devil. Jesus wins. And those who choose him win as well. Dear Heavenly Father, please just let us always remember that in the end that you win. And may we know how to defend and fight against our enemy, the devil, and the powers and principalities that he has under his control. Thank you, Lord. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.